Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. It has been a while. Uh, it, it's been a while on YouTube terms too. It's probably been like 18 hours since the last episode was uploaded. What's up with that? Well, I was away for a week visiting my ancestral home. I don't remember what our... I mean, our streak is six apparently. I'm proud of past me. That's an okay streak. But I didn't remember what character we were going to be. So I figured why don't we just play as Eden. It'll be fun. QFGC 1HZH. And we start with the bottle of pills and the wooden spoon. Dare I take it? I dare. Let's not pick up those hearts yet. There is a chance maybe that we could get a uh, a special like boss trap room style. Oh, well, that'll be interesting. So goodbye pills forever and hello dad's key. Which I, you know, you're going to have to give me some slack here. Because this is like the perfect storm of, uh, oh man, our shot speed is so bad. Rate of fire seems maybe below average as well, but our shot speed is truly awful. Um, you're gonna have to cut me some slack here, because not only am I a little bit out of practice, uh, I actually did not play very much Rebirth while I was gone. I played a little bit on the flight back, but, you know, I'm already on an airplane, so I'll start, like, an Eden run, and it'll be shit items, and I'll be like, oh, fuck that. I'm not gonna sit in the freaking cylinder 35,000 feet in the sky and play a shitty Eden run. Even if it would have had Brimstone right after that. So I, I have, like, a... A weird selection bias for how those runs went. I was like, those runs went pretty good, but if I didn't become Guppy on like the third floor, I was just like, oh, I'd rather just restart. Weren't my Eden tokens, they were Kate's Eden tokens, so uh, I'm not sweating it too much. But yeah, you're gonna have to cut me some slack, I'm a little bit out of practice. Beyond being out of practice, we're using an item here that I don't use well at the best of times, Dad's Key. My problem with Dad's Key, the one thing that I was learning, and where I had learned, but would like to recall here, so as not to completely nullify my earlier learning. Big fan of this room, by the way. <laughs> Sarcastically. Um, we can use it to get out of Boss Rush. So if I want to do Boss Rush and aggravate the shit out of people, I no longer need a teleportation item. Also, of course, we can fight Mega Satan. Another question that came up a lot while I was gone. Are you going to play the Eternal Update to Wrath of the Lamb? I'm thinking about it. The general consensus, and you know, this is just, uh, hmm, we'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, this is just hearsay. I haven't actually played it myself yet. The general consensus seems to be that it's hard as shit, and uh, a lot of people seem to say that it's not hard in a productive way, instead of just in a destructive way, and a lot of people are like, well, he's being such a baby about it. That's okay. You want it hard? Here's hard. So I have no idea uh, how I'll fare when slash if I try it, but... Uh, I may. I've played a couple vanilla runs. Well, that's not true. I've played vanilla a couple times since uh, Rebirth has come out. It's very difficult to get readjusted for me. Um, the frame rate looks real slow. It's like a slideshow. And I, again, I mean, no offense to the game that I spent, you know, a thousand plus hours with earlier in my life here. But uh, in addition to that, I. Uh, they, like, my brain is not well equipped to deal with the way like in, in, it's hard to explain in rebirth there's a lot more contrast so it's very easy to tell what's you what's the background logically it's very easy to tell that regardless but at a glance in vanilla it's a you know everything kind of like blurs together a little bit more the objects are flatter or more scalar i don't know anyway we're gonna move along here so far so good i probably should use dad's key to get into the shop early right as opposed to waiting this long and we'll see what we've got inside of it. Um, you know what? I will use a bomb to pick up this item. Who knows what it's going to be? And to be honest with you, who really cares? I don't really need to buy that spirit heart just yet. Uh, Humbling Bundle. That was well worth picking up. It's an item I'm a huge fan of. Oh, we, we unlocked the secret room as well. You can't use... And people get confused about this. You can't use Dad's key to open golden chest, to the best of my knowledge, unless I'm missing something. So uh, I'm going to open that golden chest without using Dad's key because I think that's how it works. Speaking of boss rush, that shit is not going to happen. <laughs> We're already at, we'll, we'll probably be about five minutes or so before we even make it out of this floor. That's not a guarantee, but it's a, it's a likely scenario. I gotta say, my, my flight's back. One of my best flying experiences ever. I used to be... Let me let me open this up by giving you some hope. If you are the kind of person who has never flown, or you fly but you're anxious of flying... People say, oh, you'll just, you'll, you know, grow out of it. You will probably grow out of it unless you have, like, a, a medical phobia, all right? I used to, every time I got on a plane, probably about the first 25 times I flew, I was like, I have to want to go somewhere bad enough that I have a 50% chance of dying. I know that logically there's not a 50% chance that the plane will crash. But in my head, I'm like, I'm going to go through the, the terror of basically feeling like I'm going to die. So it better be worth it. Now it's just smooth sailing. However... 
Uh, so the, now I've, I've crossed that hurdle. Jesus Juice is okay here. Let's just head down to the next floor. Um, I've crossed that hurdle. I've crossed that threshold. So that doesn't bother me. But on our flight back, our entertainment screens didn't work. So they came around and gave us like 5% off our next flight. And already I'm like, shit, man, we got to go somewhere far away. 5% of 100 bucks is not that much. 5% of like 1,000 bucks, we're getting, well, it's, I mean... Perhaps not enough to justify the cost of a trip you otherwise wouldn't be taking, but that I digress. And also, that was 5% for free, man, because I just played Rebirth the whole time anyway. I mean, I did watch a movie, but it kept stopping and starting. It took me like four and a half hours to watch a two hour long movie. But hey, man, I'm not going to be entitled about it. That was free uh, money in my pocket next time I book with that very specific airline. Ah, shit, we lost the spirit heart. Anyway, um, so that's my flying experience. I don't really have a better story than that. Except that the lady in front of me almost broke my freaking laptop. I was out doing some work, you know, some ticky tacky with the keyboard there. She just uh, immediately, as soon as the seatbelt sign goes off, reclines fully 100 fucking percent and almost like warps my screen. And earlier in the flight, she was like, oh my god, Canadians, I love Canadians, they're so nice. And I was like, okay, that's a compliment, but now that you've said that, and almost broken my laptop, you've become like my mortal enemy. It's like if you're having a heavyweight boxing match, you're, if your opponent says, oh, my opponent's a really nice guy, that's like a backhanded insult, right? It might even be a forehanded insult for that matter. So like, this, ew, this, this lady is not making me happy. I don't, you know. What's the deal with airplane food? I didn't have to deal with airplane food because I'm freaking, I'm an experienced traveler, so I went to the general convenience store within the airport and bought a whole can of Pringles for four dollars which is a markup but at least I didn't have to pay four freaking dollars to uh, get the little snack can do I look like a snack sized man I need a, a, a man sized can uh, anyway we're going to get a deal with the devil here I'm gonna open up all this shit because we quite frankly we can afford to uh, we, we have enough consumables, and we're actually going to have enough money to pick up. I didn't really uh, look at what the items actually were in there. I know there's nuns having and one other thing. My brain is telling me that I think I wanted both of them. But I don't remember what the other one was. What was the other one? Oh, I didn't really want the other one. I'll just take Nun's Habit. Maybe not that good with Dad's key, but it's acceptable. And one day, I promise, we'll get to use this Judgment card. But for now, it's Larry Jr.'s time to shine. Shine bright like a silkworm. Told you guys, I'm not actually multi-platinum recording artist Rihanna, despite the fact that I that my name is like a subset of her name. Shine bright like a subset. Anyway, if you could just die, that would be fantastic. I'm looking forward to balling out of control, if you can make that happen. Uh, that's not really the greatest start, but it's acceptable. And you know what? You know what? I can live with this. I'll take them both. Give me the gimpy... Give me the guppy. We'll become the gimpy gumpy. And this will be great. Have we... I, I fucking hate Curse of the Bullshit Man. Where is our item room? Have we been to our item room? My assumption is that we have not been to our item room. But I may have forgotten because I have no map with which to base my life on. You might be saying, oh, Northern Lion, you don't need a map. Why don't you just remember whether or not you've been to the item room? Yo, having no map is like having no memories. You gotta write shit down. Okay, that sentence made no sense. Oh, we have not been to our item room, so suck on that shit, Sally. We uh, probably should have used Dad's key there, but there's Mom's knife, and I don't think too many people are gonna object to me taking Mom's knife, considering our tears right now. It's not like I'm giving up like a cricket's body run. Let's talk about it that way. I'm giving up like a pretty shitty rate of fire uh, kind of run right now, so this is looking fantastic. Uh, and now that we have the knife, I'm gonna... Come down here and shoot all these just to see if we get some extra money. Figured we'd try Dad's Key just to see if we got a secret room. Maybe that could have made use of judgment or something like that. But we're on our way here, and this is looking like a, a pretty casual way to get back into things. A bunch of people confused or even concerned as to why I was away. There's nothing to worry about. I was visiting, uh, you know, my family, my parents. I haven't seen them in a little bit over a year. We're on very good terms, as you just live across the country from one another, we don't get that many opportunities, you know? Both busy from time to time. Them doing like real life adult stuff, me mostly playing video games. Ah, shit, locked down. I don't really want to go into the curse room with this low HP, but I have a feeling this floor will, uh, will make our HP better.
We could just pick up some spirit hearts from it. Um, there, my favorite theory was because I stopped tweeting about video games and instead was tweeting so much about the NHL playoffs. There were some people that were like, "Did he seriously take like a week off to just watch the NHL playoffs?" No, I'm I'm not being an NHL playoffs roadie. Um, but I was I was having a good time watching some hockey, you know. Don't always get the opportunity to do it with the schedule I keep, which is not to say that I work particularly hard, but I would usually work, you know, through the Eastern Time Zone games, as I live in the Western Time Zone. Anyway, no, I was just, just visiting family, just saying hello to the people that birthed me and supported me for the first, you know, 20-something years of my life, and, you know, that still love me to this day, as if I were their son, which makes sense because I am. Nothing to fear. Okay, let's not die here. I'm, I'm realizing now that we're actually, we're strong, extremely strong, but this is like the perfect storm for me. Get a little bit of a false sense of security and then die because my mechanics are super rusty. I should not have opened that. I'll be the first person to tell you. I should not have opened that, um, that item room. We have Dad's key. We also have Humbling Bundle. Ugh. So, I mean, it's not like it was an enormous loss of resources here, but at the same time, there's no reason. Let's try Judgment right away. See if we can get some HP. At the same time, you know, why have Dad's Key if I'm not going to use it? I could use it to fight Mega Satan. That happens fairly frequent or frequently regardless. So we're at 10 minutes on Caves 1. We're way behind schedule. I would not be expecting Boss Rush to happen. But that's my number two priority. Well, I mean, it's my number, like, four priority. My number one priority is entertainment. Number two priority is, you know, strong run. Number three priority is uh, don't shit your pants during the run. You can avoid that. It makes your life a lot easier on multiple fronts. Uh, and, and maybe number four is boss rush. Help. Okay. Admittedly, I did do a lot of mom's knife runs. Mom's knife was showing up like crazy on the flight yesterday, which is something I can say now that I'm no longer on the plane. There we go. We gotta get, like... Better suitcase recognition technology, man. They still... We, we've been... Airplanes have changed a lot. Probably. Look, I'm not an aeronautical engineer or anything like that. But we're not flying on, you know, winds or spitfires or anything like that anymore. You know, we're... We're not in the same rickety uh, steel containers that Granddad was flying back in WW2. We're in these, like, hyper-modern fucking composite material fuselage... Boeing 787 Dreamliner shit, but when they give you back your luggage, they still just like, you know, put it on this carousel and it goes like, and then it takes a hundred years. I'm not worried about the time. I'm worried that like almost every suitcase looks the same. It's only a matter of time until I take someone's suitcase that doesn't belong to me, or someone takes my suitcase that doesn't belong to them, and they're not going to get any like, you know, national secrets or anything like that. But you got to admit that'll be real annoying. When can I have a, a chip inserted into my like face bones? What's the story? Face bones? No, like a chip inserted into my face that like beeps when my suitcase is close and then if somebody takes it there's like a tracking device and I can track them down in the most Canadian way possible and be like, where are you going with that, eh? What do you think you're doing with my suitcase? I don't know. I, I'm, I am offending myself with my own Canadian accent. There's something about that. I mean, I would like Champion's Belt. We have Humbling Bundle. We should expect a lot of money to come out of this. I fucked the the life out of our donation machine here. Oh, we're not even going to get enough. Um, have we been to the item room on this floor? These fucking maze curses, man, are freaking me out. I don't think we've been to our item room. We haven't been here either. I don't know. We might as well explore. I don't give a hoot if we can't make it into Boss Rush. Might as well try this, like, every time we get it available. We have enough keys that we can, you know eat that if we have to, but I might as well uh, see if I can find the secret room without putting any actual effort into it. Let's go to our curse room as well. Yeah, this is what I was pretty much hoping for. Uh, we're saving a lot of keys using Dad's key, even if I use it completely inefficiently. Hmm. We got, no, we got blue cap from our boss, right? I don't know. I don't, it's all good. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we're, we're already doing very well, but I would feel pretty stupid if I ended up leaving without going to it, but maybe I did, maybe I didn't, uh, maybe it, uh, the, the, maybe it doesn't matter. 
We're gonna head down to the next floor, though. Sorry, Champion's Belt. I would have loved to, sincerely. We're now one item away from becoming Guppy. We should note, though, that we don't have a guaranteed respawn unless that item is nine lives, or we pick up, you know, one up Judas' of Shadow, etc., etc., along the way. So, uh, I'm gonna chalk... If we missed our item room there, I'm gonna chalk it up to Rust. If we went to our item room and I just forgot about it, I'm just gonna chalk that up to my, my general... Um, lack of being detail-orientedness. To put it as diplomatically as possible, because I don't want to offend myself. Might as well use Dad's key here. Um, get the charge. Ah! Don't ruin your deal with the devil chance here. We gotta get into that shop so we can buy a spirit heart for ourselves. Where you at? Where you at? Now there we go, okay. Um, I should pick that up, but let's just come in here first and be uh, disappointed by the outcome. Unless we don't get hit, in which case it's still totally fine, I suppose. So far, so good. Kind of uh, one of my favorite templates for a run, if you will. We've got low HP, high damage. The only thing that would make it uh, extremely more comfortable for me is if we could pick up some kind of respawn ability here. Please. I don't, yeah, I don't want to be close when that happens. Also, you don't want to see my hand when my hip react with Artemis from the start of this run of the game. James West, team in the West, so remember the name. Okay, if you could just... I, I don't want to use Dad's key yet, just in case it doesn't open the secret room if there's enemies, but I figured it probably would, but, you know, better safe than sorry, I suppose. Better safe than sorry? Where's my, uh... Where's my item room? Where's my golden chest, you know? We picked up Guppy's tail. That's the deal. You give me golden chests that I may or may not be able to open, and then I open them. Caves 2. Still way, 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 way behind schedule for Boss Rush. So, I, I say that not to keep the conversation focused on Boss Rush, although that's probably what it's accomplishing, but rather to assure those of you who don't like when I do Boss Rush that it's probably not going to happen on this run. So you should feel maybe a little bit better about that. Still, the conventional wisdom is that Mom's Knife should be a one run, even on low HP, even without a guaranteed respawn. No deal with the devil there, disappointing, but again, doesn't matter all that much. That's not really where I wanted to go there. Uh, it, it may matter if I... It, it matters in, in kind of like an economy of scale kind of way. I'm glad that we have this. If there's few deals with the devil and the next one sucks, but I'm, I'm feeling kind of desperate so I go for it, that could cause problems. So I'm going to take this moon card. Uh, oh yeah, this is actually fantastic here. Oh, you know what? I probably could have used dad's key to get into the freaking room anyway, couldn't I? Yeah, the the boss, not the boss trap, but the, eh, the boss trap, not the boss rush. Alright, so I'm just kind of playing these guys in a balanced fashion right now. Anytime we get surplus keys, we can afford to give them to our key beggar. We are at 23, and we have Humbling Bundle. I learned the truth at 23. You can't trust he who begs for keys. Hearts? That's what I like to see. Um, Alright, so we'll play you a little bit more. A little rusty on the Demon Judgment plays here, I'll be the first to admit. There we go. We got a payout there. Um... Let's go, let's go deep on these blood banks, man. We'll get a lot of money and maybe some gimpy payouts. I think that's acceptable. Uh, wait, we, where did we get our other... Ah, what, what the heck? Curse of the Maze! Freaking me out here a little bit. Um, so my thinking was, let's come back this way. We're definitely not going to do boss rush now. I'm just, I'm taking way too much time doing this stuff, but this stuff should lead to, uh lead to greatness for us. We don't really want Monkey's Paw, and by really, I mean, like, at all, we don't want Monkey's Paw. Uh, let's... We have not been to our item room yet. Okay, let's go to our item room, figure that shit out, and then we'll go to our arcade, and we'll we'll play the Blood Banks as much as we can. I don't really care if we get money, or, uh, IV bag, or Blood Bag, it's all... it's all gravy to me. Um... There are some that are better than others, but that's okay. Like, for example, blood bags would be awesome now, because... Oh, that was awesome as well. Um, I gotta get a new word for my vo vocabulary, apparently. Um, yeah, blood bags would be awesome, but... Uh, even if we don't get them, our HP is still really good relative to where we expected it to be uh, at this point. Might as well... Yeah, there you go. That worked out. 
No eternal heart, please. Well, we can get one. It would just... I can't be lazy if I get one. There we go. And we're going to immediately lose that by going into our curse room here. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. I don't really care about that half red heart yet. Um, come down this way. Still have not been to our item room on this floor either. That's two chests. And, eh, you know, two spiders. It's not worth it, but it's not exceptionally terrible. Okay. This is our item room. I'm feeling like this is probably the floor. Oh, man. We got two items that are both, like, cool and weirdly synergistic. I think I'm going to stick with Dad's key because I stick with, uh, or I go with blank card very often. I kind of shit on Dad's key. Maybe. I don't know. Blank card is cool. We don't have any card to go with it yet, but it's possible we would in the future. Uh, have a good card, not just any card. All right. I'm thinking we very rarely get this opportunity where we have like a lot of money, a decent amount of HP, and multiple beggars, and multiple um, blood banks. So let's take advantage of it as best as we can. Of course, I was hoping for Guppy to show up there, but you know, Guppy shows up when Guppy shows up. We don't what what Guppy don't know don't hurt her. That is a huge item for us. That should guarantee us the the Guppy you know finish here. I'm gonna play down to four keys. Kind of a standard um, level to go down to. It's long-term thinking, but it makes sure we are good for the, the chest. Alright. Uh, I'll blow up this one. And that didn't give me what I wanted, so now I'll blow up this one. And that eh, pretty much gave me what I wanted, so I'll blow up this one. I think we're better off with what we've got already. Alright, this should be... An easy win now. We're not quite there, but Mom's Knife Goathead is basically like, you know, going to med school. You might come out like $500,000 in debt, but you're still rich. Even if your net worth is like negative $500,000. Um, probably no guppy here, but that's alright. We can uh, we can afford to take our time. Lock up is great. Are you a wizard is irrelevant. As we head down to the next floor with no aspirations for boss rush anymore. Congrats. Gotta take a sweet hit of that caffeine nipple there, which is a really gross way of describing a coffee cup, but you get the idea. Didn't drink very much coffee while I was away. But there was never a point <laughs> when I was like, hey, maybe this is a good opportunity to... I just wanted to check and see if it actually did unlock those locks. It doesn't, but it found me the secret room. There was never a point where I was like, maybe I'll take this like forced coffee withdrawal to get over my caffeine addiction. Pretty much just right back, you know, on the, on the brown horse here. Here's an interesting question. Does hematemesis ruin our eternal hearts? My hope is going to be no, obviously. Um, but I don't know if I'll use hematemesis until the next floor anyway, so we don't really need to sweat it. I will say, though, man, like if you... I would recommend coffee. Coffee is not, you know, a class 4 narcotic. It's not like I'm saying, I'd recommend you do heroin, you know, that's just silly. Just trying to figure out how the heck I would even get this. Oh, worth it. Okay. Um, but sometimes I wonder. I was like, how did I wake up in the morning? I didn't drink coffee until um, basically, you know, teaching forced me into having some kind of legal narcotic to get over the fact that I was dealing with kids who had no respect for me 8 to 12 hours a day for a whole year. Um, but anyway... How did I wake up in the morning? Now, if I wake up at like 11 a.m. after nine hours of sleep, my brain is still like, Ugh! What are you doing? I used to be able to get up, you know, every day in high school. I got up uh, 6.45 to get to school by 8.30. I know some people have it worse. This is not what I'm trying to create here, that environment where people are like, Hey, it's so cold where I live. Yo, it's minus 20 where you live? Oh, it's minus 22 here. We got a way worse. You know, I'm not trying to do that. But, you know, I had to wake up at 6.45 to get to school by 8.30. I'm not going to say I wasn't tired a lot of the time, but usually, like, six hours of sleep, no problem, man. Youth. Now, uh, well, youth and caffeine, now i got to get that cup of coffee in me within, like, half an hour, or... It's just a disaster. It's not just, like, a corporate joke, man. It's actually, it's the addiction that feeds society. You know, sometimes I read up about history stuff, because... Crusader Kings 2 and uh, Europa Universalis. Ooh, Crusader Kings 2 and Europa Universalis 4 kind of, you know, planted that seed within me. 
and you'll see like, you know, the Spice Wars, the Salt Wars, stuff like that, and you're like, how stupid were they back in the Middle Ages? They fight a freaking war over spices. Well, I can live without my cardamom. And then, you know, I'm like, but shit, dude, if a country that controlled like the international coffee trade was like, we're gonna stop trading with Canada, uh, I could understand. Like, I'm not saying I would enlist. I'm just saying I could understand being like, oh, that's fucked up, man. We're still living in the Spice Wars here, and, you know, there's probably, like, a Dune reference in there somewhere, but... Um... Alright. Finally, we found our item room here. We picked up, uh, picked up Fate. It's of staggering use, of course. The ability to fly is a nice crutch until we inevitably become guppy. Uh, I'm not gonna take Isaac's heart. I know that makes me a pussy and a fuckboy and all that shit. I don't really care. Isaac's heart, I do not find it fun. And it's not, it's not an argument. If you find Isaac's Heart fun, more fucking power to you. I'm glad that there are people who actually like that item, give it a place in the world. The only thing I resent is when people are like, I, how can you hate Isaac's Heart if you get blood rights or, you know, blah blah blah, it's amazing. Okay, in that like 1% of situations, but don't try to paint it like it's a good tactical pickup on average. My, my strategy in Isaac is typically, well, just fly by the seat of your pants, but apart from that, it's a game of averages, you know? This is good most of the time. This is good most of the time. That's, in the end, you know, the, the strategic element of this game, if you ignore the dodging and the shooting, that's a pretty good item for us here. Uh, it, it comes down to basically like weighted averages, man. Here's your chances of getting this item, here's how it interacts with this item. Make your decision thusly, especially if you have a D6. So I play, uh, that's, that's how I choose to play the game. Isaac's Heart does not factor into that decision kindly in most cases. If I already had blood rights, though, I'd be all over that shit. But then that, you know, like, halves the amount of situations where that'll happen, too. Not only do you need Isaac's heart and blood rights, but you need one of them to show up fucking first. And inevitably, now that I've skipped blood rights, it'll show up. Or, sorry, now that I've skipped Isaac's heart, blood rights will show up. Where are you at? I had a feeling there was still a couple of you left. Um, might as well. Oh, we had... <laughs> I forgot that we had a golden key, so... That might not have been the best use of it, and really disappointing shops here down the stretch, but, you know, shit happens. No, oh, we do have an item room left, I forgot, because we're on an XL floor, so... Um, no more shops left, obviously, but, uh... Another item room coming up. This is actually, it feels like a classic vanilla-esque run where I would really like to have, um, mapping. I could get a, a Karen O sample in here. That would be nice right now, but if you're not gonna give me that, just give me the compass or the map, or even the blue map. Anything that could allow me to find my way through this a little easier once we get down to the next floor would be very appreciated. Um, you know, Burnt Penny, I kinda like it, but we have Humbling Bundle already, which is basically like a built-in BOGO bombs. Sentence that doesn't make any sense to people who work outside of the defense contracting industry. Uh, yeah, we'll come down this way. And, uh, I mean, we have Maggie's Faith. It's not like I think Maggie's Faith is particularly amazing. Oh, we do not have another item room, you silly. Even when you got a map, you're fucking it up now. Lucky I had Mom's Knife to extinguish the fire there, or I would have been hit. Okay, so we've got a, a guaranteed deal with the devil. I don't believe Dad's Key can open Boss Rush uh, on the way in. On the way out, it absolutely can, but, uh, I'm thinking that things start to move very, very quickly from this point onwards. That was a very stupid way to take damage. Here's my thinking, though. Stay close. Because if you're close, then your dodges give you, like, more degrees. So it's easier to get away from that brimstone attack. I don't know if that actually effectively makes any sense at all. But I hope you understand sort of where I'm coming from. Wait for that. And then get in there. Uh, growth hormone's totally fine, by the way. Very happy to have it. I'm really digging this mom, uh, mom one strategy. Where as soon as the foot falls, you just run into it with whatever does the most contact damage. It's really served me well here. I can't believe it took me so long to learn it. Okay, Polaroid. Krampus. Okay, this is fine. Um, we'll take it, even though it does nothing for us. And we'll head down to the next floor. Just try it. Figured it was worth a shot. That's alright. If there's no XL floor, we have at least one more deal with the devil. Let's do it. Utero 1. That's what I like to see. And we'll definitely open these. That's how we picked up Fate. And we'll keep an eye out for Tinted Rocks. That's probably something that I'm... I'm already, like, I'm not rusty on it. I'm fucking rusted on it. But I'm also rusty. 
It's like, you know, a truck can be 10 years rusted, but then you keep it clean after that. I am rusty and rusted. I am rusty's fucking real deal baseball. If you could actually die here. I thought the hitbox was different on that. That's fine. Try this out. Figured there might be a secret room here and was obviously incorrect in that assumption, but that's okay because it was just a, you know, null hypothesis there. And we've tested it. Our p-value is enormous. Um, there we go. We'll sneak ourselves into this curse room. I'll go back for those bombs. And guppy, guppy, no guppy. Kind of feel like we're in a, a little bit of a holding pattern right now. If we could step it up and uh, either become guppy or just get a hilarious synergy. That would be the thing that I would want the most. If we just kind of keep coasting with great damage and, you know, good survivability, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not gonna, oh, Northern Lion hates, you know, Mom's Knife. He thinks Mom's Knife plus a, a fair few damage upgrades is not good enough for him. That's not true. I'll take this run, plus Gimpy is paying out like crazy. I'll take this run all day, every day. It's a very kind of, you know, casual, low-key, laid-back, easy-going run. Which is the kind of guy I am, so it fits perfectly. But, uh, man. I feel like we haven't really improved ourselves drastically. It's been quiet, you know? I'll take Bob's brain. Bob's brain is like Isaac's heart for babies. It is... Probably not amazing most of the time, but it's still, I don't know, absurd, which is why I kind of like it. Plus, it gives us a more long-range attack, but it will probably end up hurting us much more than it helps. Emperor card is fantastic, so what we're going to do is take Hematomesis. Um, kind of hoping you pay out soon. Like with HP. There we go. So we're going to take uh, Hematomesis. There's a Tinted Rock next to this Demon Judgment. When you get in here, we want to get to that half heart interval. Happy you didn't pay out yet. Get to the half heart interval. Play you. Get some permanent Polaroid invincibility payouts here. Still has not paid out. Okay, let's hematomesis. And then uh, let's see what these are. Speed down, no good. Chariot, yeah, we'll use that immediately. Only going to get three or four, maybe. He paid out, though. Okay, they're pills. That's not fantastic. Um, let's see what they are, though. We can't reroll them anyway. Puberty. And speed down. And are you a wizard? And lemon party. Lemon party's alright, but we're gonna roll emperor. All things considered, that went fairly well, though. There is HP back there, but we don't need it. Just yet. And duty loon loogs. At least we got rid of Bob's brain during our period of invincibility. That was just terrible damage on my part. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I shouldn't have taken as many hits there as I did, but let's see what we got. Um, might as well take both of them. The Abaddon pickup, really, really good for our damage. Let's try Experimental Treatment. In actuality, I should have taken Experimental Treatment first, but I had no way of knowing that. But I guess I could have come out and then gone back in because we had Goat Head. Now we lose permanent Polaroid Invincibility if I pick up a Full Heart, which is pretty likely. Oh, well, I was going to lose it anyway, I guess, with Maggie's Faith, so. Abaddon also... Uh, Terrible damage there. I gotta stop that shit. Abaddon also insulates us from, uh... Yeah, we'll open this. From Bob's brain. Why does Abaddon insulate us from Bob's brain? No, it insulates us from the damage downgrade from experimental treatment. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, why am I picking this stuff up? That's what I was trying to say. My brain just got a little confused in the process. Alright, time to donate. Pay the piper. I'm gonna drink some... Alright, we're gonna go. Um, those are both... Not good, if I remember correctly. Let's get Bob's brain out of here. This is a good way to shake a little bit of the rust off in a relatively safe context, you know? We got something to worry about, which is getting rid of Bob's brain before we, uh... Actually get in there to attack ourselves. I think this is worth it. It was not worth it. Could have Emperor carded out, but... I, uh, I'd prefer to save the Emperor card for the Cathedral. So every room is gonna be the same method. Shoot Bob's brain, get the, you know whatever other damage you need in there at the end. Unless Bob's brain does not exist, in which case we'll just go to town right off the bat here. Then you gotta keep a close eye on when it does come back. It's kind of a, you know, it's like the Russian hockey players training with like parachutes behind them. So they get used to the resistance and then when they actually skate they're like, there is no parachute. That was, I really should have gone all in on the accent if I was gonna go for it. Now nobody's happy. There we go. Um, but, uh, 
Yeah, it's like we're, we're gonna use Bob's brain to intentionally handicap ourselves. But we're doing so in an environment that is uh, safe because we're very unlikely to lose. As a result, maybe it expedites the, the, you know, getting the rust off a little bit. I don't really love this room, which is probably relatively obvious. That was a sweet combo there, though. And we can really actually finally see how good our damage is. Now that we're fighting some bosses. We haven't fought any bosses since we picked up Abaddon, and it is stellar. Um, there's no reason to use two I Can See Forever pills. There's no reason to take Flatworm. So we'll just get a move on here. That was terrible. Just, uh, you know, froze up a little bit. There is a reason to use Dad's key. Might as well try it. See if we can find some secret rooms. Uh, okay. Oh, we have I Can See Forever, so we would have found it anyway. Um, we'll start by playing this Judgment right here. I can't really play this Demon Judgment, but that might change as I play the Fortune Teller that's in the other room. Black Bean, huh? Probably just guaranteed the best item there. Um, I'm just, again, I'm gonna drink some coffee and keep the knife pointed at the place where, you know, enemies might show up. I really don't have the patience to do this below, like, 70 cents if we don't get any payouts, so let's just, uh, we'll play it until 70 if we don't get anything. If we do get some stuff, like, if that tarot card ends up being amazing, we'll start talking about playing it a little longer. My luck stat is not that bad. Hey, there's a spirit heart. All right, we got a spirit heart for 30 cents. Pretty sweet deal. Let's uh, continue to play until 60. And if you don't give me anything by 60, then we'll reevaluate. I got nothing. Oh, that was 61. That's my mistake. One spirit heart, nothing to sneeze at, though. And this will be our mom's heart fight, which should be very easy. Then we emperor card, and that should uh, make it fast as well. Really got to get rid of Bob's brain. There we go. That had to happen. Um, this is good, but I prefer to stand on the other side to get a little bit more clearance. And we're safe. That was actually fantastic. All right, let's head up. We're going to fight Isaac immediately. Then we'll be on the chest. And, and again, things are going to move very, very quickly once we get up there. This is a pretty good warm-up run. Not crazy easy, but pretty easy relative to the average, I would suggest. Or maybe the fact that I feel like it's not crazy overpowered is just a sign that I'm still, you know, shaking it off a little bit here. Shaking off the cobwebs, but it's always nice to start with a win as opposed to a loss, you know? Confidence is a... it's a relevant factor. We all remember that uh, classic Dr. Dre Diddy. Confidence is a relevant factor. There we go. Very, very easy fight there. We could just go... I mean, I think I may fight Mega Satan right away. Because I think we'll lose HP as we go here. And we've got a... Pretty good chance of taking out Mega Satan right away, I'd say. Kamikaze, Isaac's Heart, people are going to be like, Oh my god, you could have had the most amazing combo ever. But actually, it kind of sucks, because Isaac's Heart will almost always be in range of your explosions. So, don't even give me that shit. Secret rooms are really far away. I think we just go fight. And we don't have any, like, invincibility except permanent Polaroid invincibility. So, I, I don't think we need to really, um, you know, take Kamikaze to get extra explosive damage. That was very dumb. Uh, we, we don't have an easy win here. We do have a lot of damage, but we don't have as much HP as I would like. Not to say that we're, you know, in a super terrible, oh, woe is me type position, but, like, we're, we're not just going to hold down the button and Mega Satan will die. We'll have to dodge. This should not be as, as tough as it is. It's just because it's fucking envy. You know the deal. All right, now when you die, you should make other horsemen. Is our damage so good that we actually skipped, like, one whole wave of enemies, or am I losing my mind? Yo, that's too many s That was too many fucking sights, man. Okay, we might as well take that. I know we could take it after we get our first permanent Polaroid invincibility. I don't think that's necessary. I f why not try, right? <laughs> I was like, why don't- Oh, yeah, I think we- Maybe we didn't actually skip a wave. I don't know what the hell we did. Again, it's been a little while. Cut me some slack here. D look, I mean, I realize we got carried a little bit. We got Mom's knife here, but... It is pretty amazing if we end up beating Mega Satan in our first run back. That's, uh, that's an above average run. If we end up dying against Mega Satan, that'll be a terrible blow to my confidence, because we were set up fairly nicely to make it happen. 
That was not very smart. But there's another half heart for us there. Um, what is dropping that? Like, I know Gimpy can hook us up, but what's dropping those half hearts? Is it actually just enemies? It's fine by me either way, even though I ruined my half heart there. You gotta shoot. Yeah, thank you. Get rid of Bob's brain. You can see, though, like, once we get through the waves, we're gonna do a lot of damage to Mega Satan directly. His, fa his like, intermittent phases, latent phases between the mini bosses are not very long. And that's just completely controlled by how much damage we're doing with Mom's Knife. A little surprised the Angel Statue's hung in for that long, though. There we go. That's what we needed to do. Get rid of that. Gotta hit you in the face. And then we'll move on to phase two. I think we're gonna be totally fine here. Not nearly as scary as I thought it would be, but I, I think here we just kind of go for broke. He's gonna be annoying, but the more damage that we can slot in up there, the better. Oh man, there's like, yeah, there's no more space for me to go, dude. Have a little bit of fucking mercy. Probably should have been hit there as well. Can the spiders even hit him? Oh, he's so close to death. You should just get in there and finish the job. Bob's brain! There you go. Game-winning item. Killed Mega Satan all by itself. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I sure did. I'm good. Nah, it feels good to be back. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.